Greetings, everybody. It's Jim. Hey, just a quick rundown of a few of the things that are happening at Power Cell Games before we get into our main subject here. Triads is now in our beta uh, phase right now where we, the, you know, we're taking it outside the inner circle, right? And just going out there to some of our pledges and they volunteered to uh, do a beta test for us. And I'm very, I'm feeling very positive this is going to be released quite soon thereafter. Um, because, I mean, as I was playtesting, there was no major fires to put out. Uh, there was tweaking, of course, and I definitely was happy with taking some rules out and implementing them as optional rules, making the game even faster and still keeping everything that really needs to be a very good and solid game. Uh, again, uh, uh, the format that I chose was the SPI. Um, Mac, I call them macro games. Power Cell macro games, that's what they're called. Um, you know, couldn't use micro games, couldn't use capsule games. They're both cool names. So macro game, that's what they are. Um, and I definitely am happy with the, uh, the the triads booklet. This is not the finished product completely yet, but it's pretty dang close. And there, I'm very happy with this map. This makes me feel so good. <laughs> um, you know, it's just the way it looks uh, on the side. It's definitely got that SPI. Uh, feel there's no doubt about it um you know, you know so i'm really happy with the way things are turning out for triads thus far now of course fan for you since you're fantasy fans obviously heretical hexes uh ended on kickstarter still available link is down below to how to get that get it now uh, basically somebody did uh suggest to me that even though now for those of you who don't know these are to make um you know if you plan a hex grid for fantasy so you can uh make rectangular uh, rooms without going oblong or anything like that because most of the hexes are like you see on the right there they're in that kind of formation uh, fantasy trip uses that formation and of course the thing is making a room with hexes can be a little bit weird um here you can 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 join uh, combine these and now you have rectangular rooms somebody even suggested to me that i make a three by three by three as we see there's a three by two by three and a two by three by two um make a three by three by three and that would be interesting i'm going to consider maybe popping that in there but that will go out soon as soon as kickstarter gets everything um, all its uh, pledges gathered and everything like that. That really will probably go out just the same time that Triads does. So anyway, folks, speaking of Kickstarters, now let's talk about our newest Kickstarter. So today I'm going to be talking to you about Fantasy Counter Kit 2, counters used for any fantasy role-playing game. Now you may, may notice from looking at the picture over here that the art seems a little bit different than normal and that you'd be right on that. Uh, this time the artwork is done by Rick Hershey who draws for TFT, the fantasy trip, and a man called Deedon Spencer. Both have some really old school good feel to them. Okay, the thing is my brother who did the first fantasy counter kit, Christopher Isert, um, basically when he did that, and we thank all of you to the top of our lungs and the bottom of our hearts on it, because soon after the fantasy counter kit, you know, was relayed and Steve Jackson got a look at it, he signed him on practically immediately. And my brother since that day has been working on with them for the uh, bestiary project that's coming out. And I don't know if this is going to be one big book or two other books, but smaller books, but it looks like it's going to be used. I, I huge, I see the artwork that's coming through that he, he's drawing there's a lot of it and my brother's putting some of his best work into it no doubt about it as he always does really but still i mean this is good stuff um and i think everybody's really going to be happy about the finished product so anyway um back to uh the fantasy counter kit now the thing is with um Rick Hershey and Dean Spencer, I had already acquired the licenses to use a lot of this artwork for my game Dungeon Runner. OK, uh, I've got the rights to it. And, uh, you know, not every piece uh, works for it in Dungeon Runner. I mean, Dungeon Runner, by the way, is a solitaire fantasy card game. Uh, you can see the link down below and get a full uh, idea of what that's about. And you get, an, uh, you know, an intro deck for only nine bucks with free shipping. Um, but basically, I had the artwork already with the licenses and some of it really just would work, uh, you know, as well on a counter. And so I decided to use it. Now, of course, it wouldn't be a counter kit without new monsters to fight, and 50 to 60% of this are new adversaries, and we got the animated armor that you see here. Really nice picture for harpies. I mean, you'll see the whole list uh, when the Kickstarter begins. You definitely, like I said, 50 to 60% of new creatures to fight, so that's really good there. But what I really want to promote uh, in this Kickstarter to you 
is the fact that I've got a lot of Game Master tools here. Uh, one of them is, like, I got three crystals um, that, are, that are black on one side, but blue, red, and green on the other. Okay, so they turn on or off. And not only that, so do the matching pentagrams, okay, that I have for them. So that can, you can already, if, you're look, if your eyes went wide on this, you might as well just pledge now. <laughs> because you're going to love this stuff. You're going to be able to perplex your players with all kinds of things. You'll be, be this will get your creative juices flowing, no doubt about it. Uh, as more of a further utility, I do have some NPCs, just basic innocent bystanders. Probably not enough of that, I think. And I've got a few of them in there. I do have some town guards, so you don't have to just put uh, any old fighter in in there in the mix to do a town guard so it looks more aesthetically pleasing rather than looking like you're against a bunch of mercenaries, random mercenaries. Um, but what I also like about this, and this is the last part, I have a good amount of characters in here, okay? Uh, some of these pic pictures were so cool, I s decided it's like, no, no, no. I'm not just gonna have a string of five of these and just say, here, here's some more adversaries. These are characters, there's one of these uh, characters in there you know there's about i'd say there's about 20 of characters um they're all pretty cool this is zenthodel I, I love naming characters as much as i can't pronounce anybody's name on the planet as we learned somebody pointed that out in the last video that i had um that i can never say anybody's name correctly uh but yet i love making people uh, characters names uh, i do this in the you look at my fantasy trip videos for tutorials and i do that all the time with the basic melee set uh, i've named everybody <laughs> I have a blast with it. Now, I'm glad to say that this kit has got over 120 counters in it, yet it's only going to cost you $20. That's it. And a matter of fact, it's really going to save you on shipping as well, because one of the things that we did is we forego the box this time around, okay? That box was really nice in the Fantasy Counter Kit too, uh, but it was definitely heavier, and it actually made shipping go up by like almost 8 bucks. You know, it was like 17 bucks to ship. Okay, and this makes it a lot cheaper for you this time around because we'll still protect the sheets, but you know, setting a, a set of sheets rather than that sturdy but heavy box is going to make a difference there. So only 20 bucks for this Kickstarter. And the thing is about this Kickstarter that I really want to note, it is going to be a small production run. Okay, um, we kind of I kind of went big on the last one, and that's fine. Um, but now I found a way because I'm only doing one inch squares this time around, nothing uh, out of the ordinary. So production time is going to be quick. And since it's already a template for a lot of other games, they have one inch squares. Um, it would I don't I didn't have to worry about die cuts or anything like that. So not only is the production time going to be cut in like half, um, it is it made it so I can order a smaller quantity. All right, so I the, so expect this to actually be. Uh, you know, if I, if I, last time we got 130, 150 people ordering it, um, expect me to order about 200 and then possibly be done for it for a while unless orders start coming through for it again. So you definitely want to get in on this quick Kickstarter because um, it may run out of stock quite quickly thereafter after the production is done. All right. And speaking of jumping on the gun um, right from the get go, this is going to be a very quick Kickstarter. I expect it to only be a week and a half. I've been doing some long ones for a little bit here and definitely did that for the first one, but I think we're going to do it very quickly. I've seen that as a trend in lately and I think I'm going to follow that. So jump in while you can. It's going to be a quick Kickstarter this time around. Folks, thank you very much for watching and uh, being a fan of Power Cell Games and my channel Castle Archon. Please be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next video.